I always love being in the job site early in the morning. It's always fun. And it's always nice and cool in the summer months. We're here on another job where we're doing an ICF install. And there's a lot of building sciences to this that I wanted to share. This is a little bit different uh, than some of the other builds that we've done, so I thought I'd share some things. Let's go take a look. You would think that by standing here in the garage, that it would be this really simple thing. You just pour concrete and you pull in and you park your car in here and it's no big deal. But there's a hidden little secret underneath us. Let's go take a look at that because this pad is suspended. And for people who are in our climate zone that live in this area, this general area, we do have tornadoes, we do have um, very serious weather. And so this is a, an attribute of the build that is very, very important when you have a slab on grade house, which is what the rest of the structure is. So I wanna show you what the downstairs looks like when the, the commotion is happening upstairs, it's dead quiet downstairs. So let's go take a look at that real quick. Well, the first thing you notice is that there's an echo uh, from the sound in here in the basement area. But right now I'm standing below the concrete floor that will actually have cars parking on it. And what happens in this spot, even though we're ICF here, this becomes a, uh, this becomes a shelter from storms. So no matter what happens outside, even if they were hit by a direct tornado, this area down here would serve as a complete safe zone for a family to be protected from those circumstances. Okay, we're on the top side now. This is the slab on grade area, the entrance to the house. There's a small bathroom here, but what's so amazing about this part of the structure is that from that garage where you have that area below the parking of the cars, this begins a, a heated floor. So all of the concrete that's in this space is all run piping underneath that goes underneath the garage and then we'll have our heater in there for this part of the house. So on the coldest of winter days, this floor will stabilize and set at the temperature that whatever the uh, customer sets as the temperature so that then the rest of the structure heats radiantly from the lower level and everybody knows that heat rises. So it warms everything in, in the structure. It warms the walls, it warms the air that's in the room, it warms the furniture, it stabilizes the interior walls and the trims and all the other things that will be inside the house. And it's extremely efficient. In this spot here, we're in the master uh, bathroom. This is the shower and it actually is sunken. So this was left out for us to come back and pour in. But what you can see is uh, underneath the actual concrete floor is the uh, flat panels that actually house the tubing that goes through the floor. And we'll show you that on a, on a cutaway shot, but how, this, how these panels lay flat on the gravel. And then we put the tubing in and then they finish the floor on top of it. So this is how the, the whole floor is heated and set up so that not only do you have that thermal protection, but you also have a vapor barrier that's built into the system that actually covers all of the gravel on the floor, so there's no need for visqueen anymore. This actually um, supplies that protection from the vapor, the water vapor coming through the ground. Okay, let's head outside. Let's talk about some of the technology that you see in the walls on the house. I wanna talk about the reinforcement that goes into the wall. So vertically, everywhere that every exterior portion of the wall Every 24 inches, we have a piece of um, rebar going in vertically that extends up through the wall cavity. So you can imagine how strong that is compared to a wood wall. The other direction, horizontally, there's a piece of rebar that lays in and it goes into the, the, this trough system that they've got built into the um, supports. And so every 16 inches, because the block is 16 inches tall, every one of the blocks gets another row of horizontal tie that goes through the wall system. And so, as, as you can imagine, once you pour this uh, full of concrete and fill this with concrete, they, the guys vibrate this down so that there's no um, gaps or air or bubbles inside the wall. And it's unbelievably strong. And the structures that we're building, this is a 100-year structure. This thing's not going anywhere for 100, 200, 300 years because of this filled concrete core. And because of that, now this structure can be passed on or it can be resold at a higher market value 
because the quality of this build is so much better than what exists in the marketplace. So if you're curious about lots more details about the sciences of what we're doing and the cost of what we're doing, we'd be happy to share that with you. Please uh, connect with us through social media or give us a call at our, at our shop. Thanks for joining us on this build for 221 Construction. This is ICF. Thanks for joining us.